the channel today we are going to be doing a long overdue organizing slash storing photo cards in binders today because i have not done one of these videos in such a long time i couldn't even tell you but we were here um i have a huge stack of photo cards um it i gotta be careful because you can already see it's about to overflow and come out but yeah i got a big stack of photo cards plus a big stack of like bigger inclusions that's not even all of it here's all of my stray kids one but yeah we got a lot to cover um a lot of these cards i have traded and bought and accumulated in the past two three months possibly um and i just have not made a video because yeah it just didn't happen but yeah this is like the big stack of photo cards that i need to put away so i just need to put them away before the stack gets bigger um i have taken a little bit of a break um like trading and stuff um but i do have like a, a lot of other cards i still need to trade for so i need to put these away before i can start trading because then if i let it accumulate more it's gonna get out of hand but yeah get ready grab a snack because it's gonna be a long one um so yeah let's just get started okay so we're gonna start off with my girl groups binder and sorry if you can hear air conditioning my air conditioning just turned on as i started to film rest in peace but it's totally fine but yeah we're starting with my girl group binder let me get my girl group cards okay so here are the cards and i put a sticker on my sweater because there was a stain and it was making me uncomfortable so I put a little sticker for y'all to enjoy <laughs> but anyways these are the cards that I have and then we're gonna open her up um so we don't have to look at maybe over here and then I finished my rosé collection for the album so she's all done um but I have one Jenny photo card which is this one right here and it's the last Jenny photo card I need oh there you go it's the last jenny photo card that i needed to finish for her set of the album photo cards so we're gonna go ahead and put her in the middle and oh my goodness i'm so happy i found this card because this card was so hard to find and yeah it's complete so it looks so good um so i finished rosé's like all of her photo cards plus postcards and i just need to finish Jenny's postcards but i kind of haven't been looking and then for the How You Like That album, we're not going to talk about her because she's she hasn't changed ever since, so we're not going to talk about her. And then, so now we have like a whole bunch of these cards that got twice, mainly twice, and then one mini photo card. Um, because Blackpink is like the only girl group that I like kind of seriously collect. So I have one that I own photo card, and this is one of the pre-order benefits. Um, and the rest are kind of just random, so I kind of need to get a new page. Yeah, I'm just gonna get another page so I can just put these in. There's really, there's not enough cards to make a full set or anything like that um, because I haven't like started any of these collections quite yet. So I'm just gonna get a separate page. I'm gonna put it right here and we're not gonna talk about any of this. So ignore that. Okay, so I got a nine pocket. We move them to the side and open this up, put it in. And then I'm actually gonna take my own up from here and put her maybe like i don't know exactly how i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna put all my twice cards together and i'm gonna do it kind of like this there's really no rhyme or reason and i'm gonna put you include it right there yeah it's just gonna be pretty much random because i haven't you know like i said started this collection seriously yet so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing for that and oh i also have this like um luna ticket thing for their album so i don't know exactly where i'm gonna put this maybe i'm just gonna i'm gonna put it there for now <laughs> um yeah it's kind of a mess but once these collections start to grow yeah it'll look nicer but yeah that's it for the god group binder all right now moving to the god seven binder and these are all the photo cards that i have i actually have quite a lot most of them are all from last piece and one of them is from a past era um i think arrival which i don't know exactly where i'm gonna put it because there's no room <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna put this one away it's this arrival one and yeah i don't I don't know where to put her. 
rest in peace. Did I just put them? I guess I'll put him right here because this is kind of my random page as well because these are all from like different eras and I don't have enough cards to put them all on their separate spread. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that for now. And then, so this is the present use section. Has made no progress on that. And we're gonna move over here and add all of my last piece cards, so. Let me get another nine pocket fleet. Okay, so I got three of them because they all have seven cards each and if I wanted to put them all on the same page, it would have one page with just one row of cards and that will not look very cute at all. So I'm just going to separate um, by member. So we're going to start off with Mark. So I have two photo cards for him and I don't really know exactly where I'm going to put them or organize them when I get all of the cards, more of their cards. I'll figure out how I want them to be like organized, but for now, I know I'm gonna have it like two here, three here, and then like two here. So a seven pattern, but yeah, I didn't know exactly where each card is gonna go. But for now, we're just gonna put them in the middle. We're gonna go like this. I don't know. There's literally no rhyme or reason. It's gonna look really bad. Honestly, should I put them all on one page for now? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I do have seven cards, so actually, we're gonna scratch that idea and we're just gonna put them all on one page for now. And then when I get the rest of their cards, I'll start to separate them in by member. Okay, so we're gonna do Mark first, perfect, because he has two. Or I have two of his cards. Wow, that's kind of a struggle to get him in. What the heck? Okay, and then there's that one. And then we'll put Yugim. Yugim, ha I have three of his cards. So it actually kind of works out perfectly because I have two Mark cards, three Yugim cards, and two Jibum cards. So it's going to look nice, actually. Okay, now how do I want to do this? I don't really have like a matching cards for any of them like the different concepts so i kind of have like a really random selection so yeah there we go they're all different versions honestly i think i have all of the different versions but yeah i think i have every single different version but just not for every member so there we go that's my got seven <laughs> last piece kind of collection and I'm excited to grow this. I have some photo cards that I still need to trade for and yeah this is it for God 7. Wait I forgot I do have some bigger in Cleveland so we're gonna do that first. So actually I need to get another pocket so I'm gonna be using this three pocket. I need to get more like sleeves honestly. So the bigger ones I have these are the pre-order Polaroids and then I do have Mark's film strips so I'm just gonna put the Polaroids like so and there you go that's kind of what we're gonna be working with it looks satisfied with it but for now that's just how it's gonna go but yeah and i also have two other bigger items as well i have this one and i also have medium so i need to get um a one pocket all right i got the two one pockets And for these, I'm actually, I know this might hurt people, but I will be folding them the other way just so I can get that beautiful visual of Mark here. So let's go ahead and put him in. And so all I need for this 
is J bombs and I'll be done with these things. And I do have like two young J's and I think a bam bam. I'm not entirely sure. I think just young J actually. So oh, I put this one backwards. No, rest in peace. All right. Now in goes you go. And there we go. Now we are officially done with God 7 binder. So let's move on to the next binder. Alright, next is my other boy group binder. And these are all the cards I have to put away. I have a lot of these cards. Um, and a lot of like newer collections that I'm starting as well. So let's just hop right in. There we have MCMD. And I do have only one MCMD card. And that is the group card for um, their... Not the most recent comeback, not for Crush, but um, for Earth Age. So I don't, I didn't know that there was group cards. I forgot, but I did trade this one for one of, I can't remember what card exactly, but I think it might've been a treasure card um, or actually it might've been a Bam Bam card to be very honest. But yeah, I don't know exactly where I want to put this group card um, because the way I have my MZND section set up, it doesn't really allow for it. So I think I'm just gonna put the group card where my BIC um, like ID card should go. I'm also gonna put the sleeve in here for now. But yeah, that's just kind of how it's gonna look for now. I still haven't got their most recent album. I will eventually, but I kind of am taking it a little bit slower um, because I'm kind of deciding whether I want to start keep collecting OT5 of MCND, but I still haven't decided on that. But yeah, eventually I will get their newer album. But yeah, next we can go on to Treasure which we have a lot of things to put away for Treasure actually and for the recent album as well um, nothing for like the first chapter um, we have a bigger inclusion for the second chapter um, but we got this Mashio postcard sorry if the glare is like pretty bad um, but I think I'm gonna switch this around a little bit I think I'm gonna take out Yedam I'm gonna switch Yedam and Yoshi and I'm gonna put them like this I think that'll work I'll put Yoshi right here. And then I'm gonna put Mashio right here next to Junkyu. And there we go. It looks super nice. Yeah, I'm not really seriously collecting these postcards. Um, but it's nice that I have both Junkyu and Mashio who might collect. And then so nothing else for uh, chapter two. I don't actually I have one card for chapter one. My bad, we need to go back. Um where am I going to put this card? Um, Mashio Concept 1 Black version, I think. So I guess this card of Mashio is going to be all by himself. Sad, but it's okay. We're making a little bit of progress on chapter 1. And then I have these chapter 2 cards. So let's move on to the pieces for chapter 2. Now, the way I have chapter 2 set up, I don't really have it set up really well. <laughs> But since, how are we going to do this? So yeah, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put these cards because I didn't really exactly set up for chapter 2 because chapter 2 stressed me out so much that I didn't even want to bother. So I think what I'm going to do is just take these out and organize it the best that I possibly can. And I'll figure out what to do with these later. Um, but since... We do have one Mashio concept card. We're gonna put him right there. And then I have both of Junkyu's chapter two selfie cards, which I'm really, really happy that I have. This one I traded and this one I ended up buying for a good price. And I'm just excited that I have two Junkyu selfies because he his selfies especially are very his cards in general are just really hard to find. But yeah, where am I gonna put them? I think I'm gonna have to move this Junkyu concept and put it on top of Mashio because they are the same cards um, but I don't want to you know separate them so yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna go with that for now yeah maybe we'll actually put this in here to make it look a little bit cuter and show that this is chapter two I don't know it, it 
that's a little something anyways that's my chapter two spread i still have a lot more cards to get but it'll take me a while so i'm okay with how this is looking right now um and then as for chapter three i haven't actually bought chapter three yet because chapter two stressed me out so much so yeah chapter three i don't have yet but i did end up getting treasure effect the first album so now we could add a little section here so i need to get some nine packets in all right in goes the nine packet close this up and then these are the cards that i have for chapter or treasure effect the album um, so these are all the cards that I have. I pulled a lot of Q as you can tell, and then this Hyunsuk card, which, oh my god. For those of you who don't know, I actually did drop Hyunsuk. I was originally going to be collecting him, Q and Nashio, but collecting three members of Treasure is just insanely hard. And Q and, um, Hyunsuk are actually two of the more popular members, so their cards are really hard to find. So I dropped Hyunsuk because I didn't really have a lot of his cards anyways, because I wasn't really pulling him. Um, and then once I decided to drop him, I pulled a Yantic card. So, um, I'm in a bit of a dilemma because I don't know whether to keep it or trade it. Um, but now that I actually pulled it, I don't think I have the heart to like give it away. So, uh, th that's a decision that I need to make. But for now, we're just going to put him in the binder. Um, so I don't know exactly how I want to do this. I think I'm going to put Nashu's in the middle because I do have two Junkyu's like selfie cards which i'm so so incredibly lucky to have pulled these like my luck for the treasure effect album was insane just so much junkie luck and if you didn't see my haul um uh, my album haul where i pulled all of these you should go check it out i will link it down below in the description box but yes there's all my junkie cards and i think i'll put mashu's baby card like right here and Hyunsik's selfie right here. So yeah, there we go. Looking still a little sparse. There's still a lot of other cards that I need to get, but hopefully I'll have an easier time around with treasure effect, especially now that I have two of Junkyu's really hard selfies to get out of the way. But yeah, now moving on, um, here's only one of, I'm not actually really collecting them anymore. And then next we have TXT, which this is Eternity, which I have complete because there's only two photo cards. And then I do, I think I did kind of set up for Blue Hour mini sub. So there are five cards per album and I decided to collect OT5 for this era just because the photo cards are regular size photo cards and not these humongous ones and they're really really pretty as you can tell from eternity they're not actually selfie cards and this time around we did get selfie cards so yeah we did get selfie cards so that is another factor why i decided to collect ot5 but it's gonna take me a minute because just getting these ones took me a while so i do have yeonjun i have subin i have taehyun and i have Huning Kai, and then i have the um target exclusive group photo card and then so my bias it's bomgyu and as you can tell i don't actually have Bomgyu's cards i have everyone else's but bomgyu's isn't that funny? I pulled this Yeonjun, I pulled this Huning Kai, and I pulled this Subin, and then I traded for this Taehyun, but I don't have Bumbi's photo card. So that is extremely unlucky of me. But yeah, this is all of the, I can't remember which version, I think the R version. I believe it's the blue back. I'm not entirely sure, but we're just gonna do them in a five pattern. We're gonna put Yeonjun up here, and then we're gonna put Subin here. And I think Bomyu is the third oldest. Actually, I think because I like to put the, the Maknae in the middle. So I'm going to put Huning Kai in the middle. And then I'm going to put Taehyun right here. And then so Bomyu is going to be right here. But for now, we're going to put the group photo card for now. So there is my TXT section. So I just need Bomyu's photo card to complete the r version it's the blue version yeah actually i just looked it's the r version so i just need bomi's photo card to finish the r version and then i'll be complete with that and then i just still need to get the ar or the what's the other version i still need to get the pink back photo cards but i have not actually secured that album because i have been getting my txt albums from target and they are no longer at target right now and i'm waiting for target to restock the minnesota 
albums, but I haven't yet, so yeah. And then for the AR photo cards, I'm only going to be collecting Boom Hughes, but I don't have that one yet. Um, and then I have a bigger inclusion, so let me get another bigger pocket. So I didn't have luck with my Bomu photo card pulls, but I did have luck with my Bomu like postcards. So yeah, I have two versions of Bomu's postcards, and I think I have one more, but the other one I have is Asuming Kai. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a one pocket. And I think I'm gonna like they don't fit on top of each other, so they're gonna be like back to back for now. And yeah, there we go. Actually, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put Hunting Kai. I don't wanna have to put him away right now, cause I don't wanna waste another one of these single pocket sleeves. So for now, I'm gonna just put him off to the side, but yeah i'll actually and this looks really crooked i'll fix it later but yeah there we go that's it for txt and i actually forgot i have some bigger inclusions for treasure so i'm gonna put them oh, why do i keep on opening it like that i have these polaroids so let me get another pocket for this okay so i have a four pocket that they will fit in and i believe there are four different versions of this one so i need to get them but for now, we're gonna put them. Actually, I think I'm gonna do it like this. Just so we can make it look a little bit nicer, a little bit more, seem a little bit more filled out, you know what I mean? But yeah, now we can move on to the next group, which is going to be Wii Eye. I collect Donghan from Wii Eye, and they actually announced their first comeback which i am so excited for because donghan is blonde and he looks absolutely incredible and i'm just so excited to see what their first comeback is going to look like because the concept looks a little bit more darker in comparison to their title track which i absolutely loved i'm still obsessed with their title track twilight and i just can't wait to see what they're gonna cook up for us because they look in they look in spicy but anyway so here's donghan and i had like this bigger inclusion so i'm gonna get another big pocket and i think i'm gonna put this one first because this postcard is super beautiful i still need to get his other version of this um i have Dehyun's to trade for but i haven't had any luck um, but yeah, there is the postcard. I will fix these eventually because they're kind of crooked. It'll take me too long if I do it now, but I will eventually fix it off camera. But yeah, these are the other inclusions from the album. And now we can move into the photo cards. So I actually only have one card from this era. So I think I'm just going to actually put it right here. I still need, I think, two more cards. And then I should be finished. Actually, I'm going to put his other selfie here and then the polaroid right here yeah i have two more photo cards like selfie photo cards and then one of the polaroids to get and then i will be done so hopefully i can finish that before this next album comes out but i honestly don't think i will be able to um but yeah and then the rest of the cards that i have are from his solo which i am gonna start actively collecting but these are the ones that i've gotten my hands on already um because i did end up purchasing um, his debut solo album, Sunset. Um, I don't know if that's the title of the album, but that was the title of his title song. Um, but yeah, I bought those off of Depop and some of them came with photo cards. So these are the photo cards that I have. Now I need to get another nine pocket and fix it. But yeah, I'm going to be collecting his solo stuff. Um, he has a lot of cards as I find a lot of solo artists like give out like 50 like cards for their albums which is honestly insane and a lot of them are like nowhere to be found so i'm gonna try to collect all of them but some of them are gonna be really hard for me to find so i'll try and get whatever i can get my hands on um but yeah for now we're just gonna go ahead and put them in 
and actually i noticed for his solo cards that they're really really flimsy like i thought i had gotten a fake card at first because they were so thin um especially because i ordered off of depop and i thought i was getting scammed but it turns out all of his solo photo cards are like that which is no biggie but they do feel like they will bend super easily um but yeah anyways that's it for donghan all right now we've reached the section of my binder where it gets a little bit tricky and a little bit messy because um here i have kind of like a mixture of nct and um victon so the first task that we have to do is kind of separate all of these so first i'm going to take out these um weavers cards because i actually don't need them and then i think i'm going to put victon in first so i'm going to take out the nct stuff so these are from continuous and i'm going to leave those cards there and then i'm going to put in all of my stuff for this era um and so these two are the k town for you pre-order cards and i think i'm gonna go ahead and put them in the middle like this and then i do have like this i think this is a unit card so which i didn't know these were a thing um kind of wish i got i had pulled a selfie but it's totally fine it's still really cute but i think i'm gonna put this unit card here and then i have Byung-chan and sun Wu's. i think these are the air cards so i'm gonna go ahead and put them kind of like this so yeah that's how my victim setup is gonna look like for now and once i start trading because i do have a lot of chan cards that i need to trade for um maybe this will look a lot nicer but for now this is how it's gonna go and then i need more nine pocket sleeves because these ones are actually dirty and i don't want to use these all right now we can move on to nct so i do have these cards and then i also have this kiho photo card but i think i'm gonna combine them together because like i said there's not enough cards to fit on a full nine pocket so i would not want to just have him be by himself he would be too lonely but yeah um i'm not really collecting nct um but i did end up getting both Hechan's Resonance Part 2 Arrival ID card and his Arrival um, photo card and this card actually took me so long to find because Hechan's cards are so far really expensive and um, are also really hard to find and I kept on checking the NCT trade tag every single day and I had no luck and if I did find it they were for other members that I didn't have because I think I had Soyoung but then as days went by I kept on scrolling and I ended up stumbling upon someone who was selling or trading uh Hechan's photo card and it just so happened that she was either trading for Doyoung or Taeyong I think or, Ta or Mark actually and so I messaged her and she traded with me so I was very very incredibly lucky so I'm really happy to have this card and then I did pull Mark's like what I don't this is a uh, neo zone the final round um i did pull mark's card um and i found someone who was trading for heichan so yeah it worked out perfectly so i'm not really collecting heichan because i don't want to put myself through that stress since he's in dream nct 127 plus resonance maybe i'll collect him in the future but for now i just don't want to put myself through that stress because nct collectors i don't know how y'all do it especially with resonance i don't know how y'all did it because i was struggling just to find this photo card and it made me want to give up but anyways let's go ahead and put this in so let's see how should i even put this so i think i'm gonna so i'm gonna put kiho up here and um i'm actually collecting jiang but i haven't decided whether i want to trade this kiho card just because i also buy his kiho and it would pain me to give this card away so for now i'm just gonna keep kiho and we're gonna put him here and then i think we're gonna put 10 here in the middle and then this heichan card on the side right here and then for his resonance cards i'm gonna put his selfie actually i think i'm gonna put it here no actually it's gonna go like this because then i have two hm selfies there and then the id card and then i think i'll put the ticket or i'll put the ticket here and then my renjun circle card <laughs> um but yeah that's how it's gonna look for now eventually these will be separated out but i just need to like accumulate more cards 
for Victon and Kiho. And this last section is kind of a mess, um, but hopefully once I get more cards, it'll look a lot nicer and I'll be more satisfied. Oh, also I forgot, I do have this Teo um, like standee, but I don't think I want to put this in my binder yet um, because I think I'm going to trade this for Jiyoung's if I can. Um, but yeah, I do have this. And I do actually have some bigger Victon items to put away. These ones actually will not fit. I think I'm going to put the film strips and the stickers together. Um, so I need to get a big one pocket. And then I have these postcards. So I'm going to need, need a three pocket. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the stickers in. And I think I'm going to have it like, oh. Okay, this honestly looks horrible. I think I'm going to have to fix it later. I don't want to do it right now, honestly, because it'll take me too long. But I think I'm going to put the film strips here and here instead. Because it doesn't fit, as you can tell. But you know what? I'm just going to leave it for now because that's too stressful. But anyways, there's that. And then let me put the postcards in. So I don't know what to do because two of them are facing this way and then Sejun is standing all the way up. So I don't know whether to put them like this and then have Sejun like this. But then I want Sejun like this. You know what? I'm gonna do it like this. So Chan's gonna go here. And then said June. All right, and there we go. That's the end for this binder. And now we can move on to my Stray Kids binder. All right, now my most exciting section, which is all of my Stray Kids cards that I need to pull away. So these are the bigger inclusions that I have. And then these are all the photo cards I need to put away. Um, some from past eras, and then mainly the rest are from in life. Um, but yeah, let's just go right into it. I'm really excited. I can't wait to put these away because I will be finishing some collections and I'm just really excited. So the first card that we have is Chan's Yellow Border for I Am Who and I'm so excited because this card. I was so happy to have found someone to trade this card because I had I Am's pre-order benefit for I Am You. Yeah, from I Am You and I traded that for Chan's yellow border and the person I traded with was super super nice she even included an extra photo card which is this um I think what is this this is their stay in London minnow card and I was really really happy she didn't have to include this but it's really thoughtful that she did it's just because she had been looking for Ian's IMU pre-order card for the longest time and I had been looking for Chan's yellow border for the longest time and we were able to help each other out but yeah I'm just really happy I have this card and now I have officially finished Chan's I am you set and I am so extremely happy. Now I'm almost complete with I am who. All I need is Simon's white border and oh my god, this card is gonna be the death of me. Hopefully, hopefully I can find this card. I think what I'm going to do is buy one more I am who album because I do actually need to get another I am who album and hopefully I can pull segments white border and if not I'll just trade whoever I get for segments but yeah all I need is segments but yeah other than that this is pretty much done and now we can move on the next card we have is for Levanter era but I actually do have bigger inclusions I really have these three IMU polaroids so I'm gonna go ahead and put these away so let's see how did I have it so Chan is gonna go here, take that off. And then Minnie, Simon. And then Jisung's is gonna go in the back over here, which I'm actually gonna do it this way because I can't reach over there, so we're gonna improvise and go like this. And there we go, those are the IMU Polaroids, and I just need 
Dungeons? Oh, it says it's a coming. But I never got it, so maybe that was a mistake on my part. But yeah, I still need Hyunjin's. I need, um, oh, actually, I need to take this off. I do have Sunny's now. Um, but I just need Hyunjin's and I need Felix's and then Jongin and then Changmin. And then I'll be done with those. Um, I don't have any IMU cards. I don't have any Nero cards. And I don't have any Yellow Wood cards because I've been prioritizing in life and go live. Because I want to finish those to the night the best of my ability but next i do have this lavander card which is cinnamons and let's see where am i going to put this card so this one is supposed to go right here so there it goes all right so that's it for lavander era and now we can go on to go live which i'm really excited about so let's go ahead and skip so i do have these polaroids so i do have jisung and i have in so we're gonna go ahead and put these away and i believe yeah that marks the end so let's see i'm actually going jisung's gonna go with 10. And there we go, we've finished the Go Live Polaroids, which is super, super nice. My Go Live collection is going really, really well. Um, so those are the limited, those are the uh, member pose. And now we can come to the orange double side. All right, so here are the cards I need to put away. So I have Hyunjin's double side and I have Jongin's. So we can take those out and we can go ahead and put them in. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful. There's something on my page. What the heck? And there we go. All we need is Felix's hoodie. I'm trying my hardest to find this card, but it's really hard to find. I really want to trade for it, but if I have to buy it, I will eventually. But I still really haven't seen this card anywhere. So that's the only card I need. And then I will have finished the orange double side or the hoodie double sides. But once I do, it's going to look so beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at it. I just... I can't wait to complete this set, um, but that's what the back of them looks like. And I already completed this double side set, so it looks beautiful. And then I have to put away this Mino card, which is the last Mino card that I needed. So I'm actually done with Mino and Sinwin's cards for Go Live. Um, I just need to finish Chan's, but Chan's cards are really hard to find. Um, and I really wanted to trade for them but it doesn't really look like that's working out very well so i'm gonna have to honestly buy them so i need to look for those and once i have these cards and felix's orange double side then i will have completed go live and that's honestly so exciting so i only need three more cards so i need to get on that so i can finish that um but yeah that's it for go live actually i do have some special benefit photo cards and these are the ones that i have i did complete the with fans video call event photo cards so i finally copped this one i think i bought this one honestly i'm not entirely sure and then these ones are the pre-order with fans photo call or video call event cards so i can go ahead and put these away but i don't know exactly where i want to put them i think what i'm going to do is go ahead and put them like this and then i put chan's um sub k one in the back like so and yeah that's just what that page is gonna look like and there he is as a lone wolf sorry you're by yourself chan um but anyways now we can go on to in life which i have some exciting stuff to put away for this i do have chan and lino's pre-order booklet thingy so i don't let's see we're gonna have to rearrange this so we're gonna take out felix and hyunjin's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put felix's right here and then i'm going to put Dungeons in the back right here. Actually, it would make sense to put him behind Nino because Chambins would be behind Chambins. So we're just gonna put it like this.
and yeah there we go those are the little pre-order booklet thingies so let's go put this over here and then i do have the door photo card so i have chams and i have Singman. i need to trade for minos i do have a hyunjin one so if anyone wants to trade for hyunjin let me know i originally was gonna collect ot8 for these but i decided just to collect the three members that i collect so i don't know where i want to put these because they don't like fit in a nine pocket so what i think i'm gonna do is put them in this three pocket and there's actually water on this i don't know why oh my goodness um but let's just go ahead and put chan right here and Sigmund right there so yeah i think that's good for now that's good for now so moving on all right next so this is my um special page for stray kids and i also want to move this behind my in life regular album photo cards but i'll do that later but yeah these have all the special benefit cards and i actually have got chan's um in life sub k photo card and i've been trying to get this card for the longest time and um i did find a trade for it it did take a little bit longer than expected to get to me but it's totally fine so i have completed the sub k um pre-order cards so i do have chanman and felix's and actually this this is supposed to go up here my bad Right, there's Chan, and then we'll leave Changbin right there. And then I do have his Poway photo card, and this is, I think, the with drama? I think it's with drama, I'm not entirely sure, but this is the holographic card for In Life, and this is what it looks like. And I love this card so speaking much because obviously it's Pouty Minho, and I have to get all of the cards that I can where Minho is pouting because I just have to. So I do have this card, and I'm really happy that I have it. I want to eventually go back and get um, Chan and Singman, but I did have to prioritize getting Minho, so that's why he is here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put him right here, um, just stick him in like that. But yeah, there we go. Now we have two other special photo cards which these are the which ones are these these are the eh, my music taste yeah these are the my music taste video call event special photo cards so i do have um, mino i have Sigmund, and i have jisung's and i do have changbin actually i don't have changbin's anymore i have jungin and hyunjin's cards and so if anyone wants to trade me for chan or felix please hit me up so i can finish these but yeah so i have these and i'm gonna go ahead so this is the uh sub k video call wait which ones were these honestly there are so many benefits special benefits for in life that i honestly can't keep track so i'm not entirely sure what these ones are for and actually now i'm confused what these ones are so but i do know that these were the the sub k special benefit photo cards these ones not so sure but we're gonna get another page all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and put them like this and yeah i will eventually put in these black holographic sleeves to fill in the blank spots but for now we're just gonna leave it like that but these are one of the special benefits for in life and now moving to the regular album conclusions i'm so excited because guys i have finished this page i'm so excited so we can go ahead and take all of these out because i have finished it Woohoo! all right here are the photo cards and i'm so excited to put these away guys you have no idea i have been working so hard to complete this in life section and it has come through so we have completed the ot8 page that i was going to be collecting so we got the felix then we got some and then we've got in and oh my goodness look at that look at how beautiful and satisfying this looks it is 
I'm so, so stinking happy that I was able to complete this OT8 set. And since I bought so many albums for In Life, it was surprisingly not that hard to finish this OT8 set. Um, I was able to find them like really well. I think partly why it was so easy was because I did end up pulling this Hyunjin card. So that um, lessened the stress of me having to go out and find his card. And then I pulled Changbin, I pulled Jisung, and I pulled Felix. And I think I pulled, no, I just had to trade for Jongin and Mino and um, Sigmunds. And I think I did pull Chan. So yeah, I'm really, really happy about this. And now I'm going to show you the back of it. And look at, oh my god, it's so, so nice. It's so nice. I really like them doing double-sided photo cards. I hope that they continue it in the future because honestly, I think it's really cool. And then now we have this page. So I do have these photo cards so let's go ahead and take them out so we've got Mino's other double side and then we have both of Sigmund's double side and concept so we're gonna go ahead and actually I think I'm just gonna put it like this and then I actually do have Chan's concept card on the way but it was an international trade so it might take a little bit longer but once that comes I will have officially finished in life for the album photo cards. I still need to get like the uh, our Mido's door photo card and then three more of the um, pre-order booklet thingy and then I will be complete. But what matters is the actual album photo card. So this is complete. This is technically complete, but it's not here. It's still coming in the mail. And then I do have all of the unit cards finished. And yeah, in life is practically complete. And I'm just really, really happy and proud that I have been able to finish this in life set and I will be ready for the next comeback. Um, so hopefully they drop that news sometime soon. I know they're going on Kingdom, so it might be a while until we get a comeback, but I know for sure once Kingdom ends, we will get a comeback, which I'm just really excited. But now that I finish in life, I can go back and prioritize other eras, and it's just gonna be really, really exciting. And yeah, that was the end of this binder video. It was a really, really long one, but I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. So peace out. Bye.